Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have a pasta maker to try. This is the MT-01 from Soda Plus. I've never used this before, but it's time for lunch, so let's give it a try. The MT-01 comes with this bench scraper and six plastic discs that determine the shape of the pasta. I am making ramen today, and so I chose a disc that will produce narrow, flat noodles. Not exactly traditional ramen shape, but it looked good. They call this a user manual. No, oh, they call this the operating instructions. And it's not much of a user manual. You don't get a book of recipes. I just pulled a recipe for ramen off the internet. They do offer advice on a flour to water ratio, which I totally ignored. So this might break on the first time I use it. We'll see. The water is boiling on the stove. We're ready to cook. Now I just need to make the pasta. I have a big bowl of dough in cellophane and I'm going to take a portion of that, put it in the cylinder, turn it on, and hopefully we'll get some pasta. The cylinder comes off the base of the MT-01, but you can also take the top off. And I think it would be less messy if I fed the dough through the top than through the bottom. So that's what I'm going to try. This dough is very sticky. I don't know if that's good or bad. And I filled the chamber without packing it. Um, there, there really, there are no guidelines. Let's make some pasta. All right, so this is trial number one. And I'm just <laughs> scraping that off. I don't know if that was successful or not. Um, looks kind of gross. And actually, it looks really big. So I'm going to change discs. This disc is about half the size of this. It's more of a square noodle than a flat noodle. We'll try this. All right, I'm changing gears a little bit. The first batch of noodles seemed to come out all stuck together. I didn't like that. So now I am switching to a smaller noodle and I am moving to the induction cooktop simply because I want to put the noodles directly into the water and hopefully prevent them from sticking together. With batch number two, the noodles still came out really thick, so I'm going to try a third batch with the smallest hole. When I retract the mechanism back into the Soda Plus, I notice that there is some dough that is being pulled back into the machine. So I maybe it didn't help to really uh, put the dough in the front. I am going to remove this so I can clean it up a little bit. I switched to the disc with the smallest holes so it looks like very thin spaghetti. We'll see what actually comes out. I don't see a lot of difference between those two bowls of noodles. So I'm going to try the largest hole and see what that does. Let's pull the large noodles out and see what we've come up with. These large noodles actually look the best. They're a little bit raggedy, but maybe that's the homemade look that would appeal to you. Uh, this I might use in uh, Swedish meatballs or something of that nature. Um, as for the other pasta, this is even the smallest one here is like the thickest spaghetti you've ever seen. It's, it's, I guess it's not unusable, but it's, it's not that appealing to me. I'm not that excited about the results from the MT-01 pasta maker from Soda Plus. It does work and it doesn't jam up. It does produce a variety of pastas, but none of them look that good to me. 
Now it might be dependent upon the recipe that you use for the pasta, but if that's true, give me a recipe book and I'll give it a shot. As it is, I'm going to give this a two out of five rating. I would rather serve my guests store brand pasta rather than pretend that this is a treat. Thanks for stopping by.